What's going on guys? Twitter Alex coming at you with another MLB The Show 18 video. Today we're going to be drafting a team, then playing the first few games with that team, trying to get to three wins. Leave a like, comment anything down below, and subscribe if you guys are new on the road to 17,000 subscribers. I'm just going to be drafting a normal team today, trying to draft that 12 win team. One thing that I want to say before we get into it, if you guys are waiting for ranked seasons, expecting ranked seasons, I'm planning on doing some ranked seasons videos, some normal Diamond Dynasty stuff soon. I just don't know exactly what I want to do yet for it. I don't know if I want to do challenges like all first baseman at every position or just do a normal team, try and make it to World Series and then do that or try and get some Immortals first because I don't have any and then play seasons. I don't know what I want to do yet. If you have suggestions or ideas or anything, tips, any ideas, whatever, leave them in the comments down below. But that's just why I'm not doing ranked seasons yet. I'm still trying to figure out what I want to do with my ranked seasons videos. All right, so let's just, let's just hope that we get an Immortal. Oh, okay. This is good because I've actually done well in, in previous years. I've sucked with any version of Pujols, even the 99 overall one in like MLB 16. I did awful with him. This one, five for eight, four dingers. So no doubt about it, man. We are drafting Immortal, Albert Pujols, Jose Altuve, Dave Parker. I'm sure they are good choices. One Marichal, maybe two, but... Albert Pujols is the easy pick right there, Zach Britton. Uh, you know, I, I would like to draft him, but I don't know if I would end up putting him in the game or not. So let's see. Brooks Robinson or Kyle Tucker. I have not used his Kyle Tucker card. He's a lefty with a little bit of pop, even versus lefties. So we're going to try him out in the outfield. Some good speed. We'll try him out there. Brandon Finnegan, we can do that at starting pitcher or... Or we get Wilmer Defoe and replace him later on. That should be fine, too. Common round starting pitcher. Um, why is there no relief pitcher in the bronze round? Dang it, man. So now we just want the, the highest power in any, any of these. We're going to try and replace Chris Herman, too. Uh, this draft, so far, I'm like half and half on this draft. If I like it or not, Jaris Familia, one of my best pitchers in BR for me this year, honestly, which is weird because in the in, in past few games, I've sucked with him. So he's doing well. We're definitely going to pick him up. Hopefully, he can do well for this team. Let's see. George Springer's a decent card. Anthony Rendon. I haven't used... Oh, I've used Springer. 8 for 29. Oh, man. Uh, I'm going to try Anthony Rendon. I used a flashback of him, and I actually really liked him. So, we're going to try Rendon, I think, right here. Um, and see how he does for me at third base. Hopefully... Hopefully he does fine common round third starting pitcher. Give me another one. There we go It seems like a lot of times when I get my third common round There's always another one following not every time But it just seems like a lot of the time it gives me two in a row kind of at that same spot We can get another righty in the bullpen there. Oh, man. This is tough. David Peralta is a beast He's a beast for sure uh, Andrew Stevenson doesn't have enough power for me to want to use him so let's see. I haven't used David Peralta this year. Uh, Sean do a little 2.45 ERA, only seven innings. Four seam slider change though. This is tough. This is really tough because Doolittle would be my go-to lefty. Familia is my go-to righty. Um, and, and we do have. I, I, I want a silver lefty. We have five silver rounds left, but it's not guaranteed that I would get a lefty either. Um, and since David Peralta is only an 80, he's not like an 83, 84. I'm, I'm just gonna go with Sean Doolittle here. Hopefully that's not a bad decision, but I, I need a lefty and I like Doolittle's pitch selection. So that should be fine for me. We can get Fernando Abad. Um, let's see. Oh man. I don't really want either of these guys. So if I had to choose one, it would be Joe Carter. Uh, we're just going to go with Joe Carter here. I, I've had a lot of games, a lot of at bats with Jorge Polanco, 23 and only five hits. So we're just going to try out Joe Carter. He's a 78 silver hitting bronze fielding. We'll see how he does for us out there in left field. Oh, man. Uh, not, not what I wanted either. It's not giving me like, oh, man. Like, these are decent guys, but I'm trying to get power hitters right now. I'm going to do Gerard Dyson, though, for the speed. Brandon Crawford has amazing fielding at short. Diamond fielding, to be exact. Um, oh, Gerard Dyson has silver or, or, or common hitting. Do they both have common? Oh man, you know we're just. I'm gonna go. I, I'm doing Brandon Crawford. I feel like I need to in that situation. Let's see. Um, the game. This is this has been okay. Wow, this is not at all what I wanted from this draft. Oh man, this, I I really. Oh lord. Um. Oh man, I've I've used both these guys. So I'm I'm one for thirteen with Odubel. This Fowler I haven't used on this account. I've used him on my second one. And oh man. This is tough. This is really tough because I don't really like any of these options. 
Dudes, I'm gonna- I'm- this might be stupid. I'm gonna use this so- oh, man, okay. I want to replace Herman and Defoe. And then I want a silver center fielder, too. This- oh, man. This is really tough for me to choose right now. Um... I'm gonna go, dude. I'm gonna do Dexter Fowler here. This that was tough. Uh, we, now we just need to hope that we don't get a silver round. Honestly, that's what I'm hoping for right now. We don't get a silver round at all until we choose our bench. Oh man, not what I wanted. Um, I know a lot of people love Steve Ciszek. They they think he's nasty. I have 11 innings, having a lot of run. I feel like we need to trust that. We're gonna go Steve Ciszek right there. Um, just don't give me the silver round at all again, okay, game. Uh, we can go starting pitcher here. I need another lefty. Come on. And Tony Singrani. We can get him right there. Okay, time to draft the bench. We have one silver round left to replace two spots. Not going to work. So we're going to try and find a guy with a lot of power. Patrick Wisdom of the Cardinals. I don't like his vision enough, though. Uh, but we'll get him. We'll get him in case we need that pinch hitter right there. Let's see. None of these guys too great. So we can get a... Uh... We'll just get... We'll, we'll get the 75 speed and switch hitter. Oh, a decent amount of power for J.D. Davis right there. We can choose that. That's fine with me. And then silver round. Okay, so I need to replace catcher or second base. And there's no catcher, so we need to replace second base right now. Um, none of these guys play second base. So I want Hunter Renfro, honestly. Uh, one for one with him. And Jake Lamb, I'm 19 for 55, though. Oh, man. Um, so, Hunter Renfro Ro, Fro, Fro, plays outfield. Let's see. Kyle Tucker of the Astros, Dexter Fowler, Joe Carter. Um, I don't. I know Dexter Fowler, I don't think, plays any other positions. Let me check that Kyle Tucker on the Astros real quick, see where he plays. Uh, so, let's go to the right, go to the Astros, and then check their, check their flashback, see where he plays. I'm hoping he plays other positions. Where is he at? Kyle Tucker, the outfield man. Dang it. Okay. Well, who was the other guy? We'll just check uh, Dexter Fowler. Um, we'll just check Dexter Fowler and the Rockies too. I just, I want to be sure that I'm not making like a stupid decision here by choosing someone and whatever. So yeah, he plays outfield. And then there was one more guy. Um, Joe Carter on the Indians. 78 Joe Carter. Let's just, let's just check that real quick and see where we're at. I love that the menus move fast this year, by the way. I absolutely love it. Okay. So Joe Carter... Where's the one at? I think it's right here. He plays first base. Oh, man. Okay, dude. So Sorry to, sorry to be kind of like checking like this, but the, I, I like showing you guys my entire drafts and what goes through my thought process when I do it. Um, we'll get into the games, I promise, but I, this is just like how I like to do my drafts. Pujols does play third. Yo, this is getting too complicated for me, though. Okay, so third base, we got Anthony Rondona, the Nationals. So let's see where he plays. Oh, Lord, man. My head's starting to hurt from all this. Okay, Nationals. Anthony Rendon plays first and second. Okay, so we got first, second, third uh, covered if we need it, and the outfield. Okay, so we should be fine uh, no matter who we choose. So I think we're going to do... Oh, man. I think we're going to do Hunter Renfro here. Oh, wait. Do I need lefties, though? One, two, switch dudes my head oh man what do i want to do here one two three what yeah we're gonna go hunter renfro man i'm just gonna pull the trigger here and do him i have really good numbers with jake lamb but i, I oh man should i have chosen jake lamb probably uh any of these guys play catcher he's a little bit better i know he's the same overall okay uh well, we can do Brandon Moss for a pinch hitter, then. That's fine with me. I'm going to go ahead, make the lineup, then we'll get into the first game. You guys can see wh what I decide to do with this lineup. We're playing the Kentucky Killers. Our opponent has 75 Lucas Duda, 85 Future Stars Tyler O'Neill. I wish we would have had that card instead of Kyle Tucker. I really wanted to try him out. 90 Larry Doby, 82 Ruth, Wilson Contreras, 72 Brad Miller, Marcus Semi, and Kyle Seeger. Braden Shipley on the mound. We got Arda Lewicki on the mound. I wish he had a lefty, but it's all good. I'm trying out leading Immortal Pujols. Normally, I would do Kyle Tucker, but we're trying Pujols today. Seeing how it goes. Away team looking to start off 1-0. Also, feel free in the comment section to 
answer this question would you guys want me in the draft videos because the drafts are kind of long would you guys want me to at the beginning after i do the however many days in a row would you want the next thing to be gameplay starts at nine minutes 42 seconds you know something like that is that something that you guys want to see let me know down in the comment section below or you can just skip around and find it but that would just make it a little bit easier for those of you who might not want to sit through the draft just let me know down in the comment section below Let's go, baby. Getting my first. Is that my first hit of the game, dude? I don't even know at this point. Uh, Hunter Renfro, I believe. Two down, maybe one down. Yeah, one down here in the top of the second, getting the first hit of the game. So, I haven't done too well with my hitters. Uh, I, I'm pretty much doing this. I'm flying out. I'm getting a little bit too far under the ball right now, man. Pujols fly out. Next guy flying out. I'm just flying out all over the place he's giving me some pitches to hit and all i'm doing is popping it up flying it out whatever so we got to straighten it out a little bit we did get our first base hit joe carter to looking to drive him in i'm not moving my pci up with the ball either um that's been an issue he's, th he's throwing me some high pitches and i'm not able to get my pci up so we just gotta get back into it we should be good that's gone right maybe i don't know no Albert Pujols, baby, no doubt about that one. That is a moonshot. And with two down in the top of the inning, he gives us the lead. Oh, my goodness. That one was 414 feet. Absolutely destroyed. I really needed that. Let's go, baby. Oh, my goodness. Let's go, baby. Combined perfect game. And we're 1-0 with this team, honestly. This could be another 12-0 team. The issue is right now, you guys, my PCI placement isn't great. My patience, it could always be better. But my main thing, my PCI placement, I'm getting pitches down the middle, high in the zone. I'm not doing anything with them. I got to start doing that, capitalizing on those. We have a solid bullpen. I can go 12-0. I just need to really get my hitting down. Let's go get win number two. We're playing the Harrisburg Razorbacks. Our opponent has 91, Didi Gregorius, 89, Matt Holiday, 79, Brandon Moss, 85, Live Series Diamond, third Diamond for him, Josh Donaldson, Evan Gaddis, Matt Kemp, Ender, and Ciarte, Logan Forsyth, Curie, Maya on the mound. We got uh, Hernandez on the mound. Away team again, looking for win number two. Sadly, he doesn't have a lefty on the mound, man. This is why I don't lead off Immortal Pujols, man, because he's not a lefty. This guy's a pretty good team. Let's get win number two. Kyle Tucker with a base hit. Pujols. Albert, I grounded down with him, man. I don't know why. I mean, he had a home run last game, but leading off so far, he has not done well. I might just move him into that second spot, honestly. Um, Because when I've, when I've been using the batting second in previous BRs, he's, he's done fine. So I think after this game, I might just move him. I know he, he gets more... At bad opportunities, but it's not that close. So I think we just might move him back after this game to that uh, to the second spot instead of the leadoff spot. Just switch around our lineup, have it go lefty righty, lefty righty instead of starting with the righty. Oh, I, oh, I thought we caught it. I legit thought I was gonna catch that. I thought it was just gonna be a line drive out, but instead that's a leadoff base hit for Matt Holiday coming up. We're gonna bring in Jerice Familia. Nobody down. That's a leadoff base hit for him here in the bottom. Of the first inning, 71 speed. We're going to have to be careful of the steal. I imagine he's going to try and steal after this pitch, but we're getting the double play. Come on, turn it. Let's go. Huge double play right there. He turned one on me. We're turning one on him. Two down, just like that. Familia coming in. One pitch, one out. Hang a splitter to Brandon Moss. Get him on top of it. Dexter Fowler with the base hit. Yo, let's go for the inside the Parker, okay? I'm just going to press X now. I'm going to close my eyes. I'm not doing that. We're stopping at third. Nobody down. I have to stop. Oh, wait. He would have got me at home. No, nah, he would have he would have turned. He, he would have got me at home. Just because he, he would have got me. Let's just say that. Hunter Renfro, 1-0. Oh. See, now I just got to be patient. Locate the PCI onto the ball. Hunter Renfro into the outfield. Let's go, baby. Scoring that run. I'm not going to go for a double. It's fine. We're at one to nothing. Let's go. No! Oh, man, I thought Pujols might be able to make the... No. Don't be a double, don't be a double, don't be a double. No way that's a double. Wow. That sucks, man. That should have been a single. Oh, well, not a huge deal. Uh, one down in the inning, Familia looking to get out of it. Man, I, I, whew, I wish he was at uh, first base right now because we would have the double play going. 
Matt come up to bat. Familia pitching pretty well, though. Just like that, out number two. Not going to have to worry too much about that runner being there. And I I've learned from the past. I'm not throwing it to second and letting him tag on me. We're throwing it to the cutoff man, seeing what he's doing. No way! My catcher just hit a dinger! He's the common! This guy so far, lefty on lefty, has pretty much only thrown uh, inside fastballs or just inside pitches. That was a curveball. He's pretty much thrown inside pitches only. Um, so I was expecting an inside pitch, and I see the curveball coming in, and I'm like, you know what? We'll just swing. It, it looks like it could be a ball, and we're, we're getting a home run. Two to nothing now. Three outs away with a nice insurance run from my common catcher there. As Brandon Moss pinch hitting. Trying to do a little bit more. We have Pujols on deck as well. Greg Bird, man. Getting a base hit, dude. I'm sitting here. Brandon Crawford. Diamond fielding. Whatever position he's playing for me. I think shortstop. And I'm sitting here like, oh, he'll make that play. Nah, he's not. And uh, Didi Gregorius. Lucky that's all he's doing with it, man. Flying out to the outfield. Could have tied the game if it was a little bit higher, a little bit further, but it wasn't. That's a huge out number two here in the third. One runner on. Diamond Matt Holiday up to bat. Steve Ciszek on the mound. He has never allowed a run for me, and I do not want that to start here. Let's go, baby. Winning the game. Brandon Crawford not misplaying that one. We're 2-0. Let's get win number three right now. Also, GG to our first opponent of the video, Mr. Baseball. Appreciate the love, man. Shout out to you. Hope you enjoy seeing yourself in a video. We're playing the Motor City Bomb Squad. I feel like I've played this team before. No clue, though. He has Chris Davis, Eduardo Escobar, 86 Orlando Cepeda, Carlos Correa, Luis Valbuena, Hunter Renfro, just like us. Yasmani Grandal, Yasiel Puig, Pablo Lopez on the mound. We got Artie Lewicki on the mound. Away team. I forgot to switch Pujols, man. I'm kind of mad about it. Away team, though, for the third game in a row. Looking for the third win in a row. Yo, dude, this is so funny to me. Okay, so we just got a message from Rob, and he says, playing you again. I was going to say we... D oh! Yo, if you guys remember the last time we had Immortal Pujols, I think... I'm pretty sure this dude beat me. I'm pretty sure he beat me. I don't remember. But, yeah, I, I was going to say, I definitely recognize the name and Rob... I really want to get the W, but I remember we were playing in, I think it was Orioles Park, maybe. And he throws me a ball way above the strike zone at Albert Pujols' eyes, man. Immortal Pujols. And we just smack it for a dinger. And I think we took the lead with that or tied the game. I don't really remember, but I remember playing that game. And I was going to say, I definitely recognize the PSN and the team name. So shout out to you again, Rob. Good luck in this game. Hopefully you take the L. No, he's leading off the inning with a base hit, man. He was ready for that fastball. I was like, you know, maybe we could jam him, but no, nah, he was looking all the way for that fastball inside, and he has switched righty-righty. I want to use Sean Doolittle, but Familia coming in again. He's done well for me. I, I like using Familia. He's done well, but I, I, I want to use a lefty. I want to face some lefties for some reason. Hopefully, Familia can get us out of this inning. No harm allowed. Brandon Crawford getting a base hit there. Two down here in the second. Chapman's been killing me, man. His hits per nine, I think it is, makes the PCI so small. And you guys, I said it at the beginning. I'm having trouble locating my PCI, and that's just making it even harder with the smaller PCI now. But we got a base hit. Chapman probably going to come out, I would say, the bottom of the second inning. Maybe. I don't know. He, he's, he's 16 pitches, so I feel like he's probably starting to get low on energy. And I feel like any other reliever I'll do fine against. But Chapman, just with that hits per nine, man, is really making me struggle at the moment. However, 3-1 count. If we continue to be patient, work counts, we'll do fine. Yeah, that's a no-doubter, man. I threw a sinker down the middle. Why am I like this, bro? Why do I always do something like this? Luis Valbuena getting a solo shot, putting him in the lead one to nothing. We're down to our final three ounce in this game. I don't understand it how I so often hang pitches down the middle, man. It, it's just, it seems like every video I do that. And I just, I don't understand myself about it. That's going to be at least a double, maybe a triple. Familia's done. Going to either bring in Ciszek or Doolittle. I don't know if he has any lefties, honestly. I, I'm hoping to bring in Doolittle. He has switch righty lefty. I'm doing Steve Ciszek, man. He hasn't allowed a run for me, at least an earned run. If this run at second scores is not counted towards him, so that would stay alive. But 
I just got to get out of this inning, inning, man. Get to the top of the third, hopefully with a uh, only one run deficit. Try and tie it and come back. Going into the top of the third inning, I was thinking about walking Puig to get to Chapman so he would have to take Chapman out. But Chapman is low on energy anyways. If Puig comes up to bat, I can guarantee he'll bring in a righty anyways. Um, so I'm not too worried here, man. I'm not too worried. We're going to try and come back. I got faith in us to do it. All right, down to my final out. Pujols up to bat. 80 Goose Gossage on the mound, man. Let's tie this game right now. Here we go, Albert. Fruitcake, man. Oh, this was a 12 0 team. He's safe. He's safe. We get another chance. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. This is huge. We get another opportunity here. We need to score. We need to tie this game. Yeah, it's over. Uh, yo, GG to Rob. Good game playing you. I don't remember the result of the first game, but GG to you in this one. You gave me an L, man. Oh, dude. I can't believe I hung that pitch. GG to you. GG to Mr. Baseball. Let's go get win number three. We're playing the Baton Rouge Bruins. He has 91 player of the month. Matt Carbonaire, Aaron Judge, 85 David Freeze, Michael Taylor, 81 Carlos Santana, Chris Taylor, Yunel Escobar, Mike Napoli, Eric Fetty on the mound. We got Lucas Sims on the mound. Away team again. Looking for win number three, dudes. Oh, I can't believe we lost that. Okay, so we're the away team for the fourth time in a row. And this is, I think, is this the third game in a row at Coors? I'm pretty sure this is the third game in a row at Coors Field. And one thing I was going to say at some point, whether it was at the end, in the middle right now, uh, I need to figure out a way. If you guys have any tips. So whenever I'm losing... I get way more impatient. Obviously, I'm I, I'm impatient in general, but when I'm losing, I get so much more impatient. If you guys have good tips to like calm myself down uh, in the middle of a game, stuff like that, let me know. And I can't be leading off Immortal Pujols. Something about that leadoff spot with him for me is not going well. Let's go, Kyle Tucker. No doubt about it. One to nothing lead. Honestly, though, if we win this game. Next video, Pujols, you're going to move down to the number two spot. I'm switching my lineup a little bit because I had, uh, I had you know what, a, was it 615 or in the high 500s? Either way, it was a lot higher than it was now. Now it's down to 467 before this BR, and we're just going to see if moving him down a spot changes anything. Maybe it will, maybe it won't, but I can't think of anything else for him. Yo, Zane, shout out to you, man. I appreciate the love. Good luck to you. Hopefully you enjoy seeing yourself in a video. Shout out to you, bro. Much love, my dude. Good luck. No, he hits my guy. Dang it, man. No, no, no. No, no, no. No, no, no. No, no, no. Oh, we're not getting him that time, though, man. Two in a row. And uh, he's getting a base hit on it. So one thing that someone's told me to try, and I did it for a bit, and the time I did it was my 12 and OBR run. And it's to, if I'm trying to throw like a pitch here, to just do it here. So if I miss and hang it, it won't be down the middle. It will be just, you know, low in the zone. And if, if I miss low or whatever, they might swing at it or else it's a ball. They're not going to be able to do anything with it. So it's just, it's kind of, they, they, someone said to like overcompensate where I'm trying to get my pitches. And the only battle royale run that I've actually remembered and done that in was my 12 and 0 run. So I probably should keep doing it because... It seemed to work. Wow. Brandon Moss. Moonshot. Not even hitting the foul pole. Way over the foul pole. 448 feet to lead off the third. We're up two to nothing here with Immortal Albert coming up behind him. Getting a base hit. There we go, man. His second at-bats aren't the issue. It's his first ones. I really do think that batting him second will change something. I don't know if it will. We're going to try it in the next video for you guys, assuming we hold on to this lead. Anthony Rendon driving in a run. Let's go for third. Let's try and get a triple here. 53 speed. No, we'll stick at second. That's a nice piece of hitting by him, though, right into the gap. Dexter Fowler. This is his Rockies card, I'm pretty sure. No doubt about it as we take a 4-0 lead now. Oh, my 5 to nothing lead. I didn't even realize. Oh, my goodness. He destroyed that.
and Zane, I'm sorry, man. I'm sorry to make you quit. GG, bro. Hopefully, you enjoyed seeing yourself in a video. I wish I could have had at least one of those hits in the last game. But like I said, guys, I'm impatient. I'm even more impatient when I'm losing. I need to fix it. need to figure out how to, how to just not think about it when i'm losing i'll see you guys next time if you enjoyed it leave a like subscribe comment anything down below road to 17k subscribers leave a like all that good stuff have a fantastic rest of your day we're going for mad bum tomorrow trying to reveal a diamond nine win reward for you guys thank you so much for watching have a fantastic day peace out